everybody. This is Matt Orsog, Chief Content Officer with ED4S. I want to talk briefly about the SEC climate change rule that just came out. Uh, some people are going to be disappointed because it seems a little bit watered down from what was first proposed two years ago. There's not going to be scope three emissions requirements and scope one and two requirements are going to be less stringent than was first proposed. But there was always going to be an evolution of climate reporting, not a revolution. We already have CSRD in Europe and in California last year, SB 253 on corporate data and climate and SB 261 on climate risk reporting were both passed. Now, California is the fifth biggest market in the world. So along with Europe and now the SEC, most big companies around the world are going to have to report on climate change up and down their supply chain, which is a large, you know, a large amount of information that we're going to get. Other countries around the world should follow suit. And over the years, the amount of climate data up and down all supply chains is just going to increase. Expect natural capital data, which is a couple, lagging a couple of years behind climate data, to follow suit to where if we're having this conversation three to five years from now, climate and natural capital data up and down all supply chains will likely be what companies have to report and what investors expect. If you want to discuss this further, join us on LinkedIn later today to talk about this with the ED4S staff. Take care.